Today we are taking our handwriting and turning it into a font in under five minutes on Silhouette Studio. Hi, welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey, I also call myself Dinosaur Mama, and today we are working in Silhouette Studio to create our own font. Now this is going to be the basic version on how to use the font creation tool in the business edition of Silhouette Studio. What I love about this font creation tool is one, it's super easy, two, you can download the font, and three, that means you can use it in Cricut. So my suggestion is, even if you're a Cricut user, to upgrade to the business edition of Silhouette Studio. Right now, when I'm releasing this video, they have it on sale, but don't worry, if it's not on sale, you can always wait for the next sale to go on because they discount it by 50%. And it's a one-time fee, unlike Cricut Design Space, that's monthly. So my suggestion, why I say to upgrade, is there's so many more features, like the font feature, that are available in Silhouette Studio that are not available in Cricut Design Space, even if you're paying for access. So things like the font creation, they have a pop-up creator. If you're into making rhinestone decals, they have an instant rhinestone decal maker. There are so many things within the program that you can use. And to me, it's just worth the $50. It's worth the $100, honestly. I just got mine on sale. So let's jump into Silhouette Studio and start designing our font. And I promise this is gonna be one of the fastest uh, tutorials you ever see from me because, because it really it, there's not a lot to it and it's pretty instant it does everything itself so let's get started all right so if we are in a new sheet the first thing I'm gonna do is actually change my cutting mat I'm just gonna make it a regular cutting mat I think mostly it's just easier to see you can also just change this I just want to show you it honestly it doesn't really matter where the mat is over on the side panel I'm gonna go right here to the font creation panel and pop it open. So the first thing you wanna do is show the font creator sheet. Now you can change the size of this here. So letter or A4, whatever your printer is. And then the first thing you're going to wanna to do here is print it. So I'm gonna go up to the corner here and say send to printer. It's going to pop up the printing sheet in a second. Okay, and once we have this all ready, like it's shown, printing, ready to go, you hit print. And now mine, the last time, did cut off the font creator, but it actually, it still worked fine. So we don't even need to worry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and print this out on just regular printer paper. So to get started, you'll need a black marker or a black pen. I haven't tried it yet with like a thinner pen, but I am using the fine tip of this marker. I do wanna try it out with more varieties of pens, but they do say black. So make sure you're using black. Now, the way that I did it, because it is very light when you print it, where what the letters say, just have your computer open so you know what goes in each space. The first lines are going to be capitalized letters, followed by lowercase letters, and then numbers zero through nine. After that, you get into your different punctuation, like exclamation, your at symbol, hashtag or pound, whatever you want to call it, um, your money signs, things like that. And with those, you can make the punctuation or you can add in a hand-drawn glyph. So I'll show you when I get to mine how I do it. Because like there are certain characters that I'm never going to use or like that I, I, I use rarely, I should say. I don't want to say I'm never going to use them. But, you know, like I just don't use very often. So why would I make that into my handwriting? when you can draw in like a smiley face instead. So I'm just going through and I'm writing in all of the letters first. I tried to keep it as centered as possible, like my Q, my lowercase Q right there, I wish I would have put it just a little bit more towards the center. So try not to hit the boxes uh, too, too much. And then again, you do the numbers zero through one and you can make these however big or small you want. And a, it's your handwriting, so write whatever you want. Someone that gave me the idea also to do your kid's handwriting, and that way you have it forever, which I love that. I'm definitely gonna do that with my son. And then this is where I got started with my different glyphs. What I'm really excited about is I want to try to draw things on something like Procreate or even like in Silhouette Studio and see if I can kind of, I don't know, somehow manipulate it onto the sheet. So that's gonna be a video in the future. But here I am putting in all my different characters and I am going based off the sheet right now, 
But like, see, I just got to the ampersand and I can't make an ampersand for the life of me. So I just did a plus sign because that's actually how I write my and symbols. So as I went along, you know, like here's a dash and then I got to my next symbol, um, you know, an uh, underscore. And here I just decided to draw a heart because it was a glyph that I'm not going to use a lot of or a character I'm not going to use a lot of. And then I drew a really terrible star in the next one. And then I went ahead and I drew a smiley face. And so you can use these as characters. They're like hand-drawn SVG files almost that you can use in Silhouette Studio. And so once you have your sheet done, you can leave it like this and you can leave half of it blank. You can fill in the whole sheet, whatever you want to do. Basically, the characters that you don't fill in, it ends up just being like an underscore blank line. So what you can do from here is either finish filling it out or you can leave it as it is. And you can either put it into your scanner, which is how I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to show you both ways. Or you can take a picture of it. Try to get the whole sheet. I did kind of get mine on an angle, but spoiler alert, it ends up working. So just do your best with taking your picture or you can use your scanner. Here I have the scan clicked and I have my Epson, which is one of my scanners. And I'm just going to double click on it because when I did start scan the first time, it didn't work. So I just double clicked it. Um, until I heard my scanner starting to go, which you might hear in the background. The other option is to upload a photo. So I took a photo with my phone and you can, I also got this the first time too. And I just hit continue anyway, and it worked just fine. And there's my font. And that's, that's truly it. That's all you have to do. So you can do a test run and that will just install the font onto Silhouette Studio until you're done using it. So you see, I already have my one font up here. So I'm going to name this, um, this one, Kelsey too. Um, so I can do a test run right on here and just hit test run and it's been saved into my font. So when you go over here, right? So if I want to go to a new page, I type in Kelsey and I scroll down, there's Kelsey too. It's so funny. My handwriting looks pretty much the same, which I want to try it with a different marker, but, or a different pen. Um, and then I go grab a text box and I can start writing. And there is my handwriting. And just so you could see it a little bit better, here it is in a different color. So that's how easy it is to upload a font. Now, if you want to do it with a photo, so I hit import photo. Okay, so I imported the photo and I'm gonna try continuing without the calibration. And it worked just fine as well. <laughs> So, you know, I didn't do the full, obviously the full thing. There's nothing there for a lot of these, but when you're ready, so I'm going to go back up to this one, you can save and install this to your computer. So you can do it without installing, which won't actually put it into your computer, meaning you can't use it in Cricut Design Space, but you can save final version and install. So I'll show you, I did that with the first one. I'm not gonna do it with the second one since I have two of the same thing. So I'm gonna show you this over in Cricut. So I did it with the first one, I saved it and I installed it. So now let's go over to Cricut, grab a text box, do it again. And now I'm gonna go to my things and there it is. There is my font installed on my computer. So it's as easy as that to create your own font within Studio. Thank you for joining me as we created our own font today. I cannot wait to work with this program more and design more fonts. And then I can bring that to you and show you different ways and different tools that we can use in this font creation tool. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Share this with one of your crafty friends who have been wanting to make their own font and subscribe to my channel for new crafty videos every week. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.